Cool. Alright, what's up everybody? Um, first of all, thanks to everybody. We just hit a thousand subscribers. This is the first video since hitting that uh, like milestone. So we appreciate it. Um, we're going to do an update video on the tire changer because there's been a lot of interest and questions on it. And when we recorded this video, we had no idea what we were doing. And the audio was really bad. You couldn't hear what I was saying. So we're going to go over what I did. And then we're going to do one modification and then show you how it works again. All right, so I guess we'll go over the original, go over the original parts. This is a duck bill I bought on Amazon. It was like a couple of dollars. I don't know. I'll, I'll relist the parts on the description. Duck bill, metal flange. I don't know what this is. Probably like an inch, an inch pipe, a little square tube and some U bolts to hold it in place. So they're adjustable. You can slide this in and out. And when you loosen it, you can move this up and down depending on your tire. It's all welded to a piece of exhaust pipe actually, just because it was the right diameter to fit over the, the inner sleeve and for these, what are they called? Uh, split clamps to clamp on, or no, shaft collars, I believe they're called. I, I gotta Google, I'll, I'll put a list. All right. So it's two shaft collars that hold it in place. So these stay, this spins. There's no bearings inside. It's just some pieces of low friction tape that we use on our table saw for the fence and stuff like that. Bearings would be nice, but it moves just fine. Not too worried about it. Um, that's about it. It's pretty simple. I mean, you have to weld it together. Well, I welded it together. If you can find a way to bolt it together, go for it. But yeah, so for a couple dollars and stuff that we actually mostly had laying around the shop, we got a much easier to use tire changer because you don't have to use, grab that. You don't have to use the tire iron to shove this in and scratch your rim, which is usually fine on a steel rim you don't care about, like the one we're gonna use. But I'd still rather not scratch the inside or outside or any of it if we can. So there you go. The one thing we found out when we were, can you see the caddy in the background? We mounted those 22s last time. Well, not last time, but like two years ago now. So, yeah. They're still there. We haven't done anything to them. They're, they're all holding air nice. I had to go get them balanced, but that's about it. Um, but what we found out is that when you are using this and cranking on it, when you finally let, you know, when it finally lets go and the tire pops into place, that kicks out and this wants to drop on your wheel. So we're gonna put some tabs on here to keep this bar in place. And that's as far as the mods I think we need to do. Otherwise it works perfectly well. So let's uh, weld some bars onto here. I'm just gonna use like a quarter inch round bar just to hold the bar in place, this guy. Hopefully I didn't melt it too bad. Yeah, it hits a little spot, I know, but you know, whatever, it's fine. The amount of force that we're putting on it to push it, the, that's not gonna make a difference. Where's the bar? Let's see if I put them in the right spot. So when you're pushing this way, you got that to hold it. And when you're pushing this way, you got that to hold it. So when this gives out, or actually, now it can't go yeah, flying, yeah, so that's even better. So it can't drop, and this thing can't just go spinning on its own. Perfect. There you go. Unnecessary, probably, but safer than potentially scratching your wheel. All right, let's de-beat it. Is that the right setting, too? Oh, that was easy. Oh. So we just 
found a PVC fitting that fits better to get this thing centered. I, ideally, uh, some kind of metal ring would have been perfect, but we just gotta get it generally in the middle. The ductile will do its thing on the edge of the rim anyway. Yeah, so we gotta loosen these so we can adjust it down to this bit. easier if it was in one. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Well, I'm just going to use a flathead just because this tire does not have a lot of play in it. It's so freaking small. It's a lot easier to get it started like that with a thinner bar. And we do the same thing. Uh, this way. Let's do the honors. I didn't soak the bottom. Boom. And we're off. Ta da! Well, we don't have another tire to mount, so we're going to put this one back on just to show you guys how to do it. Back on. Please don't time us. <laughs> That's the easy part. Yeah. This is the harder part. Especially on 22s. This is probably going to be a lot easier because it's got more sidewall. This is a joke compared to one of the 22s. <laughs> like, we had to put three people on this bar. You don't have to like, you don't have to hold it. version two of the Harbor Freight uh, tire changer mod. All we did was add the little bars to hold the tire iron and it worked pretty well. We're at 1%. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys can you know use this and make your life a little easier changing tires.